So what are the three shells in units? You have B shell. As the Joker from Batman said, why so serious? Uh, this is the Computer Programming University, and I do a lot of tutorials on this channel, but we like to have a little bit of fun here. So I thought this was very interesting. I'm going to let you guys watch a little tutorial about some nerdy stuff. I think this is interesting. Listen to this. She's going to tell you about the view source. There's a thing called a view source. Some of you guys get that. Some of you don't watch. Okay, so we're going to right click. We're going to go to her view source. Oh, her view source. Um, already I have her. Uh, this is Sugar Barbie. Okay, so we're going to wait until this uploads here. Um, okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, so here. I know that this looks a little nuts and it looks like it's for nerds, but um, just hold on. Bear with me. I'm going to scroll down to um, line 111. I just wanted to show you guys that. I, I, maybe you guys won't, won't get it the way I did. It was just funny to me. Um, I mean, just the way she's, it, it reminds me of back in the day. You remember modems? That <laughs> was so funny, like 1995, when modems were the thing, and you had these, uh, uh, you've got mail. <laughs> America Online folks that would, um, they would just say modem funny, like modem. I have a new modem. Like they put a, what's that? That's like putting an accent on the E or something, because they're stressing the E. It's just so weird. I guess they felt so intimidated by computers that, they couldn't even pronounce the words like my father actually was like that as well just basic words all of a sudden now you can't even pronounce because it's because computers oh scary so here it is she refers obviously she's talking about the the option to view the source and she's saying it like it's a thing view source but it's just viewing the the source code for the page and then I, what really was funny to me was i just found it humorous when she looks at the code and then she says um do, uh, you know, don't don't be scared. It's uh, I know it looks like it's for nerds. <laughs> I don't even know what she's up to. I didn't I didn't even watch beyond what you're seeing here, but I can pretty much assume she's probably trying to show you the keywords because her video is something about she's trying to expose um, some YouTuber because they were doing some scammy stuff, saying that they were partnered with something called Style Hall and. The only, thing I, the only thing I can think of that she would be looking at in the source code is um, keywords. Well, let's actually listen and see. I think that's what she's doing. Okay, here it is right here. Let me get up close. Do you see line uh, 111 right there? It says meta name equals attribution content equals style hall aff affiliate ah. so boom again look at that so proof this young lady is actually a style hall affiliate all right so i was wrong it's not keywords so she's she's, she's i guess i assume what she's going to do is now she's going to go to someone else's page i guess it's nina person and show that her page on the, the code it doesn't actually show this style hall affiliation um so yeah but anyway i just thought it was funny i wanted to share with you guys if you don't think it's funny thumb it down whatever um but i just thought it was funny and i want to start doing more content and yes more tutorials but also you know some current events and things like that um because this, there's definitely there definitely needs to be a lot more content um, one of the things I've been working on is my Udemy courses, and I'm also going to be doing e-learning courses on another website as well. I'm right now in the process of reviewing the contract, so stay tuned for that. I'm trying to launch my advanced SQL course next month, but I'm running out of time uh, for my goal. That's my goal, but I really got to get cranking with that. But definitely stay tuned for that stuff. You can, I do have a SQL course that's available right now, which is for job seekers. So if you're looking for a job that requires SQL skills, not, 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 a, not a DBA job, job requires the skills, and maybe you're rusty or you don't really have the background and you just want to be more competent during the technical interview, I mean, you're not going to let them know like, hey, I know SQL, but let them know you're in the process of learning it and actually demonstrate your, your interest in learning it. 
and your initiative to take up you know this journey of trying to learn this new thing and then being able to speak competently about it so you you know i understand what it's all about i understand some basic queries so you can actually get the interview assuming you've got the other stuff and that's what that course is really for you've got all the other skills don't really know anything about uh, sql or you're very weak there so this is something that can quickly get you to the point specifically for fintech um, so if you're in financial technology, it's really specifically, I mean, it applies to others as well, but it's, it's very, very, it's kind of, um, like a tailored suit, you know? So it's a, it's a tailored course for a specific person looking for work in financial technology. You're rusty with SQL or you've never had the experience with SQL and you just want to be, you know, more confident doing a technical interview. So stay tuned for that. I'm also going to be doing on my main channel, Fixed Protocol. Some interviews with some financial technology companies. I actually already went to one of the companies. So a lot of cool content coming up. So stay tuned for that.